And this time it's Pendande who gets the better of her. And the Hurricanes have numbers the other way. Kelsey Marshall thinks about it in three. Instead kicks to Mikea Gray and she knocks it down. Yeah, smart move. Gave up a good shot for a great shot. It's a tough take. Good defense from Marshall. Area of X transition three ball is good. That's her shot. Scrub slows it down. To Spear, can she make it three in a row? Yes, Jewel Spear with the triple. Miami playing off of Becker there, but she takes it into the rim and finishes. Hard games with a chance to pull back within single digits here. Kelsey Marshall drives right, right to the rim, and she finishes through contact. Enough contact to draw a foul. What do you think, Tamara? I don't think it was a foul. Once again, for Miami to tie or take the lead, Carla Ariavet, stop, pop, jumper, front rim, no good. How about that board from Jaleel Williams? And it's tied at 43. The Hurricanes have come all the way back from a 19-point deficit. Jaleel Williams, by the way, with 10 points. She's been huge for Miami off the bench. Four to shoot. Marshall defending. And one! Jewel Spear! Her first point for the second half. What an answer by Wake Forest. Jaldi Topdi drives in, and Miami counters right back. It's a one-point game with two to go. Drives to her right. Six to shoot, now five. Working on Kelsey Marshall in the paint. Now to Kaya Harrison for three. No good. Rebound grab by CeeDee Baba. She immediately takes timeout, and Miami can advance the ball. Marshall to Jaldi Topdi. She can't get a clean handle on it. And Wake Forest wins. The Deacons watch a 19-point lead.